and it's only uh, going to be up for another 10, 12 minutes because these storms are moving to the east northeast at 50 miles an hour. But in that period of time, there's going to be a lot of rain, very heavy, maybe a little hail. Here's our time tracker for you. It should hit uh, Chancellor, uh, should be through there by now. Hartwood's next up at 622, then Fredericksburg, Stafford, and Widewater at 646 as the line again moves uh, to the uh, east northeast. Now you notice the top is Montclair. That's well south of Washington. So while the D.C. metro area may in southern suburbs may get a little rain from this batch, it looks like the thunder and lightning and the heavy rain will stay well to the south, and we bid adieu to this area of storms that is headed northeast towards the upper shore of uh, eastern shore of Maryland. Now I should point out there are a few more scattered showers to the west, but the fact that we're getting later in the day and it's cooled off so much, I think this is the last batch of heavy rain or thunderstorms, just scattered showers for the next couple of hours over parts of the area, then clearing later tonight. The uh, storms did a number of the temperatures. We were in the uh, lower to mid 60s across the region a couple hours ago. Now we're in the low to mid 50s, 54 at Reagan National Airport. So with all this in mind, our forecast will be later tonight. The rain shower threat will end. The skies will turn partly cloudy. Gusty winds out of the west will bring in drier air and colder air. So no more rain late tonight. It will turn colder 35 to 42 degrees by tomorrow morning next seven days. Tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, but it'll be breezy, 57. That's going to be about seven degrees below average. Saturday, just a nasty day with cloudy, windy weather. Highs only in the 40s. Periods of rain showers, maybe some snow showers as well. As well. Sunday, cool still, but sunshine, breezy and warmer, 67. Monday, 57. Tuesday with an next cold front with more showers, gusty winds, and then back in the 50s. So listen, I'll take 50. Should be in the 60s, but I'll settle for the 50s, Leon, as long as we don't have this stuff we had today. Yeah, really. That stuff we had today just wreaked havoc all over the place. We had Nat's op home opener today, and it's been an off and on ordeal. Let's check and see what things look like right now with Robert Burton standing by at the park. Are we back on now, Robert? Yeah, uh, play has resumed. It's a beautiful day out here, which is good for the players because they had a lot of momentum going. But uh, what a day for Dusty Baker. He gets lost uh, coming to the park. He's also nervous. Uh, we'll hear from him. That's coming up next in sports. A message from the Pulaski Law Firm. A government study reports thousands of workers have been diagnosed with asbestos-related mesothelioma. To compensate those affected, asbestos trusts have been established with $30 billion in initial funding. You may be entitled to financial